and congratulating our 2016 Penn State University baseball graduates. First of all, I, I think you know what starts on the mound. Andy Ravel was outstanding. Um, he was so efficient today within the strike zone. It was really coming out of his hand, really good. Um, we always knew, you know, when the, when it heats up, the weather heats up, it comes out of his hand a little bit better. And he was tremendous today. He was efficient. Um, he was knee to knee with his fastball. His fastball command was outstanding. He got a bunch of ground balls, some fly balls, some strikeouts. Um, his, his secondary was really good as well today. Duran checks the runner in the one two. A swing and a high chopper toward first, a fair ball over the head of Smith. Del Porto heading for third. Ball gets down to the corner. Del Porto rounding third. He'll come home. The throw is too high. And Hawkins into third base with a triple. A high balancing triple down the first base line for Riley Hawkins. The, the ball got caught in the right field corner. You know, just working real hard in between starts. Um, Rick does a great job of getting all of us ready. And the, the bullpen before the start is really key for me. It's where I need to, it's where I get a chance to work on stuff that from the previous start wasn't as sharp as I like it. And I get to fine tune it and then bring it back out on game nights. Just trying to keep them off balance, trying to get in ahead with the fastball. And then uh, it's a pretty good offense they have there. So keeping them off balance with the slide and the curveball and, and then coming in hard late really seemed to get to them. Runner goes, stepping off. He'll chase him down. The timing play is on. He slips and he's tagged out before the run can score. And they run themselves out of the inning with their cleanup batter at the plate. I thought we played really good defense. Um, Tim Del Porto thrown out a base runner. I thought we held their base runners really good tonight. And then we had some timely hits. They pitch it really well. They've got a great pitching plan. They mix it really well. A long look and the 0-1 pitch. A swing and a fly ball, a deep fly ball toward right. Smith giving chase. This ball is back off the top of the wall. Here comes Mamarella at third base. Ball is still loose. Mamarella will score without a throw. And Zaleski into third with another triple. The second triple tonight by the Flashes. The first by Hawkins. The 1-1 pitch. On the ground, a base hit toward left field. And Zaleski will walk in to score. And the Flashes have a 3-0 lead. Never like to give people free bases. Uh, again, Bricky emphasizes you have the ball, you're in command, don't give them anything for free. So just pounding the strike zone, letting them get themselves out or striking them out, doing it myself, um, it's really key to success. I mean, this offense is uh, very good, very potent. They put the ball in play almost every time I was pitching out there. And um, it's definitely key to get this in before heading into that tournament. It's definitely uh, a good opponent to, to win against and to get us ready for the MAC tournament. Yeah, I, you know, to take this series, um, you know, against a team that's been really good. They've been to many regionals. They're very probably similar to us in a lot of ways as far as the way they play. And, um, you know, they come from a, a smaller, you know, you know, I guess name school as far as, you know, the whole national setting goes. But they're, they've always been very, very competitive. And that goes all the way back 20 years ago when they had Jack Leggett there. And, you know, Bobby Miranda does a really good job over there. So. Um, we knew we had our hands full this weekend, but I, I, I like the way we've approached it. We, we haven't panicked. We played fundamental baseball, and that's the important thing. He delivers. Bounced up the middle. Hollander near second. Will throw to first. Tag is made, and that's the ball game as Simonetti came off the bag to catch it. Slaps the tag on Smith. The Golden Flashes have a KSU KO for the second straight night over Western Carolina. It's the final score of this one. Kent State 3, Western Carolina 1.